Hey guys, I'm Adio Love on the Fashion School. For the sake of the first time viewers, I'll say you're welcome to my channel. Hey, I'm Adio Love on the Fashion School. We're into fashion design and bag making, but this channel is designed like purposely for bag making and then for the sake of returning subscribers i say welcome back i am glad to have you back thank you so much for stopping by so let's proceed to today's work i'll be making this beautiful piece of bag i already have my pattern drafted out already but i'll be going through the measurements once again so for the width of this bag i'll be working with 19 inch i'll be working with 18 inches of actual length and then one inch of sewing allowance you know half half inch of both sides making 19 inches so for the length of this i'll be working with three inches it all depends on how high you want the bag to be do you understand so for the length of this i'll be working with three inches which is the actual measurement then i'll be adding one inch sewing allowance to it half inch at the upper part half inch at the down part making one inch do you understand so making four inches in total this bag is actually um should i say it? i won't say it has two but let me just say it has um two different lengths size do you understand separated by zip do you just like separated by zipper so for this upper length i'll be working with one and a half inches of length and then one inch sewing allowance do you understand we still have the same width which is 18 inches actual measurement plus one inch so in allowance making 19 inches so i'll proceed to um place my pattern on my material and then i'll be cutting it out then after that i proceed to the sewing section in this video i'll be making use of my leather material i'll be making use of um another leather material for lining also just that this time this one is very soft leather material for lining and then i'll be making use of my foam do you understand the foam is about half an inch so the first thing i need to do now is to place my leather material on my foam do you understand so after placing my leather material on my phone i'll place my zipper just the way i'm fixing it right now just the way i'm doing right now and then after that i'll place the leather material that is going to serve as the lining on top of the zipper then i run the stitch So once I'm done with that, I'll be top stitching it. Please don't top stitch on the lining. Make sure you flip the lining to the other side before top stitching. Please don't top stitch on the lining to make your work neat. Once I'm done with the top stitching, I'll flip the lining down and then run the stitch from one end to another end. I'll be doing that off the camera to avoid the lengthy video. So once I'm done with that, I'll be fixing the you know this is the down part of the this is down part of the um of the body so the upper part of it don't forget i said it's actually a whole body with just one body but it is in it is in two different form do you understand it is in two different form then separated by zipper so now i'll be fixing the upper part to this so i just need to follow the same process you know the way i did for the first part the way i did for the down part that's the way i'll be fixing the upper part i'll be placing my material i'll be placing my zipper on the material and then i'll be placing my lining on top of the zipper and then i'll run the stitch so once i'm done with the zipper i'll be top stitching do you understand remember not to top stitch on the lining so once i'm done with the top stitching i'll be running the stitch from one side of the um, material to the other end do you understand
now that i'm done with that so now we have our one body just and just one body so the next thing i need to fix now is the closure so in me fixing the closure i'll be needing the length i'll have to take the length measurement and the length measurement that i have here in total is eight inches do you understand it's eight inches so i'll be cutting the exact eight inches of length and for the width i'll be working with about four inches of width and then i'll be adding one inch of sewing allowance you know half half inch of both side making five inches so now i'll be cutting eight inches by five inches i need just one piece for it and then i'll be cutting the foam also the exact measurement and then the lining do you understand So in fixing that, I'll be placing the right side of the leather material on the right side of the body, do you understand, followed by my foam. And then I'll be placing the lining at the down part. I hope you understand. Please, before fixing your closure, remember to fix in your zip head. Yeah, I think I skipped that part. Please remember to fix in your zip head before fixing the closure. So once I'm done with the sewing, the next thing I need to do is to top stitch. Please always bear that at the back of your mind that you need to top stitch once you are done with the sewing. And you must not top stitch on the lining. Yes. So the next thing I need to do now is to repeat the same process for the other side. But you see this part, if you're not patient enough, my dear, <laughs> you'll be confused though. <laughs> You'll be confused if you're not patient enough. So just try as much as possible to, you know, to follow this part. So I repeated the same process for this part. So in me fixing the lining, don't forget the lining was at the down part. I placed the lining at the down part of the material. Do you understand? So just follow this um, process. Just follow this process. You get it. I won't say it's kind of complicated though, but you just have to take your time, you know. <laughs> you just it requires patience, yeah. You just have to take your time. Um once you're done with the sewing, you have to turn it outside. Do you understand? That is where your patience will be tested. <laughs> so let's turn it outside. Let's turn it outside. And once I'm done with that, I'll find a way to stop stitch it as well. Yeah, I'll find a way to top stitch it. Now I'm done with this. The next thing I need to do now is to take the all round measurement because that's what I'll be using to cut my um, bottom and my base. 
and then for the all round measurement what i have is 22 inches for the all round measurement the measurement i'll be working with is eight three quarter the width of eight three quarter and then for the length i have four one quarter it's not up to four and a half four one quarter and then i give it a slight curve on all the edges i'll be cutting it out on both the material um the lining and then the foam And once I'm done with the cutting, the next thing I need to do now is to sew it all round. When I'm done sewing it all round, the next thing I need to do now is to fix it to the bottom so i'll be fixing the bottom first so it's to fix it to the bottom just the way the shape is
The next thing I need to cut now is my andu. So in cutting my andu, I have um, the width of three and a half inches, and then for the length, I have about thirteen inches here. Yeah, I have thirteen inches. Do I later reduce it to? I think um, nine or ten inches. I can't remember nine or ten inches. But initially, I cut thirteen because I um, I felt it's kind of too long. Do you understand? So I later reduce it to about um, ten inches. So I'll be needing my during. I'm um, sorry. I'll be needing my square ring. So the first thing in fixing this is to find a small piece of material, insert it into the D-ring. So the material itself, the handle itself, I'll be folding it half an inch on both sides, on both ends, do you understand? I'll put it inside the um, the undo and then I'll be folding it together just like I'll be folding it on each other please just watch that part closely definitely you'll get it So in fixing the undo, what I need to do is to um, cut another piece of material. Yeah, I'll be cutting another piece of material and then I'll be fixing it to the other side of the during, just to the left part of the during. But in for the measurement, I'll be measuring two inches from the side. Yeah, measuring two inches from the side and then from the upper part, I'll be measuring about two inches as well.
So I'll be creating the O where I marked, I'll be creating the O, the O that can actually contain the D-ring. Do you understand? So once I'm done creating the O and then fixing the undo, I'll be gluing it down here. Yeah, I'll be making use of my glue and my gum. So after that, I'll be cutting another leather material that's going to serve as the lining. Do you understand? So I'll be cutting another lining for it. So once I'm done with the cutting, I'll be um, sewing it all around. And then after that, I'll be, creating, I'll be cutting out the SS. So once I'm done cutting out the SS, so I'll be fixing my eyelids beside the squaring, like beside, right beside the squaring on both sides. Now I'm done fixing my eyelid. The next thing I need to do now is to, is to fix it to the body. Do you understand? Just for the shape, the way it is. And once I'm done fixing it, the next thing I need to do now is to um, pipe it all around, both the bottom and the base. Do you understand? So I'll be doing that off the camera, just to not to make the video a lengthy video. So once I'm done with the piping, I'll be turning it out, you know, just to see the outcome, just check out the outcome. And trust me, <laughs> it is beautiful, like it is um, beautiful. You might not want your own to be as wide as, as this, and you might not want it to be as tall as this. It all depends on your preference. Don't forget, this is my own measurement. So work with your own um, preference. Do you understand? And so the last thing I need to do now is just to fix in my um chain is just to fix in my chain yeah you can also fix in your a, a leather uh, you can also fix in your leather in between the chains do you understand you know how we do it now <laughs>
definitely i will always appreciate everyone that stopped by um this channel and the, you know watch videos definitely i will always appreciate it so thank you so much for taking through thank you so much like thanks so much i appreciate everyone and then to the first time viewers don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the like button if you know this channel has been a blessing unto you even the returning subscriber i say thank you so much and if you know this channel has been a blessing to you about you've not yet subscribed what are you waiting for <laughs> please subscribe to this channel thank you so much i appreciate you see you some other time bye